Hi guys, so today we're making slow cooker pot roast. It's gonna be super yummy, um, but first we need to do a couple of steps just to give it that extra flavor. We're gonna brown the meat and then make a little gravy to put on top. And then I'll bring you back over the counter and show you how I put it in the slow cooker with the rest of the vegetables and um, cook it for like eight hours. And then later tonight, I don't have to do anything. So let's start off by browning the meat. We're first going to give it some salt and pepper. And let me bring you down here so you can actually see it. Okay, really season it well. And I've got my um, cast iron skillet preheating. It's already nice and hot. And then we'll flip that over, give it some more salt. This is my dirty salt. This salt is going in the trash after I'm done. Even get like the sides. You really want to get this nice and seasoned. Okay, that's good. And now we're just going to put some olive oil in the pan. Sear this up nicely. And you see how the oil is getting nice and shimmery? That's what we want. And you want to hear that sizzle. So I'm just going to brown this on all sides and then um, I'm going to make a gravy and I'll be right back. Hi guys. Okay, so I browned my uh, pot roast and it looks really nice. I did all, all sides, um, top, bottom and then um, the sides of it. And I'm going to take it out now and I'm gonna make a little gravy. See how nice and brown it is all over? And now our pan has a lot of flavor in it. So I'm gonna add a little more olive oil and it's smoking a little bit. So I'm just gonna turn the heat down because we don't need it as hot as we did when um, as we did when we were cooking our pot roast. Okay, so first we're going to add some flour because that will thicken the gravy. I'll just use my fingers. Hi, Tucker. Maybe a little more. Okay, let's give that a little stir in the fat. Really scrape up those brown bits and then we will deglaze with some red wine and we'll add some tomatoes. And we really want to cook the flour a little bit because you want to cook the flour um, flavor out. You don't want that raw flour flavor. And this is a good way to thicken gravies or anything that you want to thicken. Just cook the flour in whatever fat you're using, butter, olive oil, and give it a little stir and see how it kind of thickens up. And we'll cook that for maybe one, one more minute. And then we're gonna add a cup of red wine. And I've gotten the pan nice and clean now. I've gotten all that flavor up. All the bits that are always left in the pan are really just really yummy flavor and you don't want to waste that. Okay, so now we're going to add about a cup of red wine. Okay, that's good. And that will help us get any of the, any extra bits that we kind of missed. But be careful, you're cooking with alcohol over fire. So always be careful of that. You don't want any of the alcohol splashing out of the pan. And now we're gonna add our tomatoes. I have a can of San Marzano crushed tomatoes. And we're just gonna season this up. Season each step. 
with some salt and some pepper. And just give that a little stir. And this is just about, it's getting nice thick, it's nice and thick. It's just about ready to go into our slow cooker. And I'm gonna turn off the heat. And just let that sit until we're ready for it. And I'm going to bring you back over to the counter. See how it's nice and thick? Maybe 30 more seconds. And remember it's off the heat because uh, I really don't think it needs to lose any more moisture or, or cook anymore. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take you back to the counter. Hi guys. Okay, so we browned our pot roast and it looks really, really pretty. Really nice. Nice and brown and crusty on all sides. So this is what it looks like. And first we're going to start with putting our pot roast into our slow cooker here. This is a nice big piece of meat. I think it was three pounds. Um, yeah, three pounds. And there's some, some juices on my cutting board. I'm just gonna make sure I get all of those juices in. All those little bits, all that, all those juices and little bits are flavor. So you don't wanna waste that. And then we're gonna add some vegetables. First we'll add some, well, these are not vegetables, they're thyme. It's thyme, herbs, and actually we won't need that much. We'll need maybe half of that. So a nice little bunch of thyme. Those little leaves will come off as it cooks, so we don't even have to um, uh, take the leaves off. So then we're gonna add a bay leaf, a dry bay leaf, and we're going to add um, some carrots. Now I've already peeled these carrots and I'm going to cut them about two inches wide and then toss the, toss the little nubs. And these are very thin carrots. Normally I tell you to use um, maybe four carrots if they're large, but these are very thin. So we're going to use a whole bunch. We're going to use one, two, three, six, six carrots. This one's a little large, I'm gonna cut it a little smaller. And I like to cut them like on a diagonal. So I'll cut off the ends and then cut them on a diagonal. It kind of looks prettier. It's, I'm always thinking about that, how to make it look a little bit more elegant and pretty, even though this is a very quick rustic dish. So we've got one more. And then we're gonna add some celery. These vegetables are very traditional in pot roast. This is a pretty traditional pot roast. I'm gonna just pile them in on top. And I have some celery here. I'm gonna cut the ends off. Toss those. And then we're going to add our celery. And I love the little celery leaves. They taste really good and they're pretty. And I think a lot of people throw them away, but I'm just gonna take the ends of this off. Again, like two inch pieces. If they're a little larger, then cut them a little bit um, smaller. And we don't need all of this celery. I'm gonna say this much. Oh, I need to sharpen my knife. Okay, we'll toss those in. And then we're going to toss in my dad's favorite um, potato. My dad loves um, red blist potatoes. So I have these mini um, red potatoes. And these are gonna be really pretty and um, yummy in there. And it's gonna cook for a long time. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. And we're not gonna use all of these.
This is gonna be so yummy, and I'm, ooh, that one's a little soft. I'm gonna be um, very happy because later there will be no dishes, and all I have to do is um, serve the pot roast, put it on a platter, and it's done. Dinner is done. Especially since we're gonna get home a little bit late tonight, or like around dinner time, so I won't have time to get um, a bunch of stuff together. All right, that looks great. And then because we've seasoned our steak, which is great, and we have the gravy, which we seasoned, but we also want to season the vegetables. Just a little bit, you don't need to go crazy, but there are potatoes in there, and potatoes can handle um, a lot of salt. And pepper, oh, my pepper mill. It's right here. Salt, pepper, so we have salt, pepper, thyme, and a bay leaf for our seasonings. And I also wanted to add an onion. So I have my onion here and just going to peel it and cut it really quick. Ooh, that peel is very thick. One half and the other. Just get that peel off real quick. And then if you see that your onions um, need that extra outer layer off, off it looks kind of um, dry or not as super fresh, just take it off. You don't need to use that. This is gonna be so yummy and Carrots, onion, and celery are very classic in a pot roast. I made pot roast for Christmas, I think, gosh, last year or maybe the year before. We actually don't need the other half of this onion. I'm just gonna use this one half. And we don't wanna waste any of it. Rough chop, this is a very rough, um, rough, it's not a rough dish. It's a very rustic dish. So, oh, my, my eyes are burning, my eyes are burning. All right, so we already put the salt and pepper in there. We've got our thyme, we've got our bay leaf, we've got our potatoes, carrots, celery, and our pot roast. Now we're going to top it with our gravy. Woo! Those are strong onions. So let's top it with this. See how thick it gets? It's so thick. That's really gonna make a difference in our dish later, as opposed to just pouring a whole bunch of ingredients in there. A whole bunch of wet ingredients in there. My eyes are actually watering. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna drizzle just a little olive oil, and I'm actually gonna use this one. Just to get it nice and, I really like a little extra fat sometimes. And then we're gonna use some beef broth. Give it a little moisture. And as it cooks, you can kind of, I think actually that might be all we need. This is half of a box, but if I end up putting in some more, I will let you know. So half is two cups. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of stir on the top. And that's good to go. It'll cook for about eight hours on low. Um, and then I will show you the finished product. Yeah. Hi guys, so it's been eight long hours. We've been waiting for this pot roast. My daughter's sitting right here and she's waiting for it. Hello. She loves pot roast. So I just started to um, kind of pull it apart with two forks. I have two forks here and I'm just um, 
Pumpkin, will you actually move it down just a little bit so that they can see? Sure, like, like how, like this? Just a little more, like that. That's perfect. Okay. okay, so I want you guys to see how, how, how much it's falling apart. It's just falling apart. And that's what you really want to do with pot roast is like pull it to, into pieces. And it smells so good. And we're just going to pull this apart and then we're going to, um, there's like a little membrane right here. There we go. Um, we're just going to pull this apart and then plate it on a platter. And I have my little gravy, gravy. my little gravy boat. Gravy. She loves gravy. So do I. I think everybody does. Um, and then we'll put it in my gravy boat. But before we put it in the gravy boat, we're going to um, pull that apart. Before we put it in my gravy boat, we're gonna put it in the fat separator. So we'll take some of the fat that um, rendered from this and we'll skim it from the top of the, of the juices. And because we made that gravy with the red wine and the tomatoes, um, it's a little thicker and it's, well, it's not that thick actually, but it smells so good. I tasted it, it tastes perfect. Didn't need any seasonings. Is the gravy inside the? In yeah. the slow cooker, slow yeah. Cooker? Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I was looking for it, I was like, wait, where is it? It's actually more like um, juice, like au jus. Juice. Yeah. That comes with the yummy popcorns. Do you remember when I made this for? Um, Thanksgiving, like two years ago, yeah. Christmas, know. Christmas. Oh, yeah. Christmas, I don't know. Thanksgiving, we have turkey. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said Thanksgiving for a second, like earlier. But it's very good, because I do remember how it tastes like. We'll take this piece out because it's a little piece yeah. of fat. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do with this piece. This piece has a little membrane in it. Yeah, because it's not falling apart as easily. But it's very easy to do this with two forks, and it's ideal to do it with two big forks as opposed to, like, I don't know what else you would actually use for this. <laughs> like one fork and a knife maybe, like cutting it. Oh yeah, lots, lots of yummy meat. We're gonna be left with like barely any um, membrane or fattiness. My dad loves pot roast. Popsy. And um, what I usually make this with, which actually, this is a one pot meal. You don't have to make anything with it because there's your potatoes, there's your vegetables. Um, so you have your starch, your vegetables. I'm just gonna cut this one piece off. And when you said potatoes, I was looking at this giant potato bag. This the one. potato medley. This one. Okay. So I think we're good here. We're barely left with anything and I could probably get a little more off that but maybe my huskies would like it. We'll put this piece of fat over here which this piece of fat actually has a nice piece of meat. Red, white, and blue potato. Okay look at all this gorgeous pot roast Yummy. meat. Yummy! I'm looks hungry mommy. Amazing. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna take the put this over here. I can smell it. You can smell it. I can smell it too. I'm going to take this over here and then I'm just going to pile it onto my platter. Yummy. Which I wish I had my big blue spatula. Uh, I can get it. Is it like a light blue? Yeah. Can I get this thing? Um, no, but any spatula will work actually. Um, It's okay, honey. I got it. I got it. This looks awesome. It's I wish you could smell it because it smells so, so yummy. It smells like meat. And for some reason, I thought it was Thanksgiving to eat. Mm -hmm. So savory. It, smel it smells savory. Let's get that little onion out of here. It's a little yeah, onion. onion. Okay. So let me show you how I do the... Um, 
Okay. Actually, will you hand me that blue, yeah. that blue um, little strainer thing? Uh, we have this strainer. You see that? Yeah. Love you so much. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Ow! Hot. It's hot. hot. Of course it's hot. It's been in there for eight whole hours. I know. So I like to put the vegetables on the side. And then I'm just taking out the thyme stems. And you can see that, see you don't even have to take the leaves off of the thyme because they, they come right off. I mean, it's been in there for eight hours. And this was eight hours on low, by the way. It smells like soup. It does, it smells like, um, like maybe beef stew or something. But we've got lots of veggies. Here's my bay leaf. lots and lots of veggies. This is going to be, I have a family of five, so this will be perfect. Five people. Except Madeline kind of don't like potatoes or carrots or celery. If only my dad was here. You need to gobble it up, like take everything and then just shove it in his mouth. Yep. Usually I make this in a, in a Dutch oven and I would just serve it right in the Dutch oven and take um, some of the gravy out. Oops, sorry. Okay. Very steamy. All right, there's a thyme stem. Okay, now I'm going to put um, some of the broth in my um, little strainer thing. In my fat separator. Oh. Does it separate like the vegetables and the? Yeah, and it takes it takes some of the um, the residue, and then the fat will float to the top. That's cool. I know it is cool. Just floats. I think Auntie Krista got me this for Thanksgiving or Christmas one year. You know what? We're just gonna pour it in like That's, that. Is that the fat? Oh, because it's so hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's probably the hottest. Thing. Whoa, if I ever do touch it. Oh, you have some more uh, pot roast in there. Yeah, there's some more pot roast in here. Which is like dumping gravy. Right? Yeah, really I'll nice. put it right on our plate. Plop. Okay, we're almost done. I want to cook. It's very hot in here because it's so steamy. It's been hot in our kitchen for a while. I know, it has been hot in our kitchen for a while. Been hot in my room for a while, but that's a different story. Okay, I think I could probably dump this over now. Whoa. Mommy's just going for it. I just went for it, my daughter said. So <laughs> yeah, I did. I did, and I probably put I put a little too much in there. <laughs> what uh you made a giant mess. I know I did. You I'm always like making messes in the kitchen. Mommy's so part good. of the fun. You can make okay, so see how much more. juice I have, and then I already poured some in this gravy boat. Gravy boat. But what I'm gonna do is kind of moisten everything up right now. Yummy. With I'm gonna use this actually. This is easier. That looks weird. It looks like a teacup mixed with a measuring cup. Duh. It does. Okay, so we'll pour more in here. And then there you have it. And then you can do put some chopped fresh um, parsley on top. It's always nice when you um, cook something for a really long time to put something fresh on top. It really um, is important. So actually, when um, we're done, I'm going to chop some some fresh parsley and I'll post a picture of it on my YouTube channel and I'll post this video on my YouTube channel. Are you done?